In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to use chat GPT to create viral short form and long form content. Now, if you are new here, this is a new styled video. I don't usually cover AI, but today I'm going to cover AI. Now, since this is so close, I'm just going to zoom out because it's getting kind of creepy at this point. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new here, my name is Ryan and I am a professional video editor. I help people in the industry get better at video editing just like you. And today I actually found a new method on how to use chat GPT to create viral short form content like legitimately viral short form content. So today you can use this in any sort of software. So if you're editing in DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, whatever it is, you can just about do this in any software. So why don't we just hop in to the video and the tutorial right now. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are over here into chat GPT. Now you can see there's a few different options. So you can use this, the regular chat GPT, and you can have it create you an image or you can use what's called Dolly. And that's exactly what we're gonna be covering today is Dolly. So I actually tried a few different things. So I'm going for a blue animated character, but I want the character separate in a separate file from the actual image. So that way I could just wiggle the guy around and maybe animate him around, right? So the problem is, is it's not that advanced yet. And so it's essentially it just created me two different images. But I mean, it's cool looking, like this is a very cool frame right here. It's a very cool like drawing, whatever, but it's just, it's not what I want. So then I asked for it to me to do it in 1920 by 1080 and uh, and this isn't what I wanted either. So then I, I told um, Dolly to do it by 1080 by 1920 and just to do one straight up picture and it came up with this. And this is exactly, quite literally exactly what I wanted. So. I'm gonna download this and that's how I was able to structure it. So if you wanted a red animation vibe, then you would go for a red animation vibe. If you wanted a turkey to work at the computer, then you could do that. You just have to let your creative mind kind of go in a different direction. Uh, we are going to be using Photoshop in this tutorial, but I'm only doing one step in Photoshop itself. So I have this here in Photoshop and like all I'm literally gonna do is just utilize the AI tool. So we're gonna be utilizing AI in this sense. So we're gonna come and grab the lasso tool. And since I want this guy separate, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna briefly lasso out this guy, right? And it doesn't have to be quite exact just because it literally does not have to be exact. We just want the straight up guy, Gonzo. So if we just go ahead and do a rough mask and just go around him like this, we should just be able to get like a, 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 a kind of a sketch um, of what we're looking like. And then we, we're just gonna say, remove the guy. And honestly, we could have done like the chair too and stuff, but for this sense, I'm just doing like a rough draft of an outline of this guy. Like as you can see, we, we forgot his foot right here. So I'll go back in and I'll circle that foot to make sure it's gone. See like, honestly, they did a really bad job. So we're gonna actually delete this and just go ahead and do like a, like a, a, a more uh, out there lasso. And then we'll just say, remove the guy. This should probably work better just because we're giving it a more of a range. Okay, so honestly, like that's not too bad. The only thing, it, like this is perfect because like the chair is still there. Now I know it's very rough, but we can 100% work with this, especially since it's just gonna be going in the back. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and export this and then we're gonna head into your software of choice. But before we head into our software of choice is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come to the AI chat and we're just gonna go to regular chat GPT. Whether you have a free account or the plus version, this is going to work regardless. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with a hook on a video idea that you want to do. So let's just say the title and the hook of your video is, here is exactly how I color graded like Hollywood and DaVinci Resolve step by step. So what you're gonna say is you're gonna say, um, here's my title for my new reel. And then you're gonna uh, quotation it and then send it in. So you kinda wanna treat chat like a friend. So it's gonna, it's gonna say to make it even more pop, it's gonna say to make it even more pop, but you're not gonna wanna listen to that. So then say, so then say, do you like my idea though? Right, so kinda like, you know, getting, giving it more time to think about your, your script. And then you're gonna say, roast my title. And then just to copy and paste it back in there, just like that. And then it's gonna say, here's how I color grade. 
it's a bit of a mouthful. Here's how I opening a com conversation but doesn't pack a punch, right? So it's gonna roast it. You don't even have to read this. So then you're, what you're gonna say is, okay, what would you do instead? And then what it's gonna do is it's going to create you a fire hook. So after a few more tweaks, um, I found something that says, turn your footage into a Hollywood look with DaVinci Resolve. So that is my hook for my new reel. So now I'm gonna say, create me a basic bullet point script for this title and then quotation your title and send it in. So it's gonna kind of briefly show you how you should go over the video, but if you're doing a tutorial, the actual tutorial aspect should not be covered by AI because you should be knowing what you're doing in the first place. But the reason why we're using AI is because you wanna use AI for the first 30 seconds of a video. So every YouTube video that I create is mainly used with my knowledge and AI mixed together. So we put the two and two together and that's what you get when you watch the beginning of my video. So I'm not joking, every single video that I make, I don't script the whole thing, I only script the intro all the way up till the actual tutorial part. I don't script the end, I don't script anything else, all I script is the beginning and the intro. So in this video, if you go back and watch it, you will know that that is basically kind of scripted. So AI helped me write that. So with that being said, now you have this whole step-by-step -step script that you can now use. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to go essentially film this video. So now that you know how to script your video and you know how to go film, after you ask ChatGPT to give you sort of tips and you can ask it if you're a visual learner to give you a picture, an example on how to film your video. So now as a tutorial, because I do do tutorials for this first clip right here, we're just gonna hit shift space and go for a magic mask. And essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to literally zoom in on this guy and uh, we're just gonna essentially make sure that this guy uh, is the one that we're gonna magic mask out. Um, for obvious reasons, you know? So uh, to now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna minus all of this stuff. So get all that stuff out of here, get that out of here, get this chair out of here, clean it up, get that out of there, get that out of there, get this keyboard out of here, get this chair, get this out of here. We just want our guy. So we still want his foot. Now that we just have our guy animated out, essentially, you can see that it it looked pretty natural, you know, especially if we're going to be going quickly. So, you know, if we go ahead and um, let's just say we wanted to animate him. So and this is actually just a great time to tell you guys about my plugins and presets and packs. If you guys are looking to just speed up your workflow or better yet, find time and saving time then you're gonna to wanna to check out the ryanherrick.store, which is also in the description. And better yet, if you guys are struggling to land high ticket paying clients, there are less than five slots available to work with me one-to-one. -one. So go check out the link in the description for that. If the link is still there, then you might as well apply. But back to the video. So let's say you wanted to drag up some up. Um, as you can see, the animation would just now go up. So it doesn't work on your magic mask. So as you can see now, now the magic mask is back to normal but that's just because it's only on the first frame. So if we wanted to just keep it for the first frame, we're gonna create a new compound clip in order to create this clip. And as you can see, we're still good for the first frame. So now we're gonna double click and go ahead and change the clip speed. And then we're just gonna hit a freeze frame. So that way that now throughout the whole clip, it is quite literally just the one guy. So now if we go ahead and slap on the up animation, now it is quite literally just the guy. So if you think about it, now that we have this guy separated, now the opportunities are quite literally endless. We can animate this guy's hand, we can animate this guy's head, we can do whatever we want to this guy. Okay, so I don't really want my pre-animate uh, on there as of now, but this is just an example of what you guys could do. So for an example, we're gonna go ahead and grab an effect and we're gonna go grab hold, and as you can see, it's gonna zoom out. But let's just say you don't want that guy there. You want him to stay there, which would look really weird, but you can do that by dragging that compound clip below that. So now if you go ahead and do that, and also the, the opportunities are endless when it comes to the editing aspect, but that is mainly how you're gonna grab graphics and you're gonna be able to film your content. Now I'm gonna show you the most important part, which is posting the content and making it go viral. Now obviously when it comes to actually editing the video, you need to know how to edit. You need to know how to do these AI features. You need to know how to move his hand. And if you guys want me to drop a tutorial on that, then I will. I just don't wanna keep this video too long. But now we're gonna hop into how to actually post this. So now using ChatGPT, all we're simply gonna do is tell it to create us three really viral hashtags to make my DaVinci 
resolve video blow up. Now, obviously it's not guaranteed that these videos are gonna go viral, but we're gonna use these three hashtags right here. We're gonna put them in our video, and now you have a fully chat GPT video. And if you wanna go even further, you can find the websites to edit these videos for you. But that is basically going to conclude this video. You guys should have probably learned a lot in this video to explode your content and explode your views with these simple tips and tricks. But don't forget, if you want one-to-one -one coaching with me or you want to check out my editing packs, everything is in the description down below. And actually, if you made it this far, I am doing some free packs. So I'm doing two trial packs. So those are also going to be in the link in the description. I just want to help you guys out as much as possible. But without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video.